bon, pour le moment, il n'y a plus grand chose à faire. Euh... <coughs> Comment je sors déjà euh... Merde. C'est tout con, mais je sais même plus comment on sort de la poubelle. <rire> je peux même pas me déplacer. Ah, He's si. not coming back, you know. What are you talking about, Emmett? Without me to guide him, he's almost useless. Before I found him, he was a miserable failure who never finished anything. But with me to inspire him, look at what we've built! Vous l'avez poussé à, à filer du mauvais coton. Yeah, you've inspired him, all right. Inspired him to turn Hill Valley into a bunch of uptight dorks. I wouldn't expect a delinquent like you to understand. Il peut accomplir de grandes choses sans vous. You think you've inspired Doc? I'll have you know that without you, Emmett Brown is destined to build a time-traveling DeLorean and a flying time train. Preposterous! Emmett couldn't even build a dog feeder without me to guide him. Yeah, well, he did that too. <laughs> La vraie femme de Doc est plus cool que vous. Not the only inspiration of Doc's life, you know. In my timeline, he married one of the sweetest women of the 19th century. Sweetness. Yeah. Emmett needs discipline to stay focused. He's so easily distracted. Okay, Your Honor. Starting to get a little concerned here. second I'm in the present, the next I'm six months in the past. Amazing! Six months? It took you six months to repair the time machine? Six months, my family fortune, and a sketchy deal with a gang of Libyan nationals. But it was all worth it for this moment. Ha-ha! Emmett, don't do this. You need help. Oh, blow it out of your exhaust port, dear. Now that I've escaped into the past, your pack of divorce lawyers can't... <gasps> Mark, how long have you been waiting for me? A couple of minutes, maybe? That's curious. I set the repair time circuits to arrive only a couple of seconds after I left. Oh, well. I'm sure there's no need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuits. Here. What's this? Clothes for our trip. We can't have you traipsing around 1931 in that ridiculous outfit. Wait. Our trip? You didn't think I was going to let you erase the worst mistake of my life without my help, did you? Fine! Leave! Time circuit set for August 26, 1931. You ready to go, Your Honor? Call me, Doc. Enfin retourner en 1931 et on va pouvoir. This is where I last saw him. You, teenage you. You were headed this way, arm in arm with Edna. Ugh. Luckily, my erstwhile wife was never the type to kiss on a first date. If we work fast and stay focused, we can see to it that there. I mean, our relationship never moves beyond the hand holding stage. Well, will you look at that? The old town theater. Cool. Very cool. I haven't thought about this place in years. The missus made me tear it down back in 71. Said the movies were corrupting the younger generation. It was all nonsense, of course. I spent countless evenings here in my youth, and it never turned me into a hoodlum. Say, 
remember, public enemy. Why, you dirty rat, no gritty yellow belly stool? Never did manage to see Frankenstein, though. Mais vous allez le faire maintenant. But you're going to. That's what we're here for, remember? Right, of course. The film that was supposed to set off a chain reaction in my imagination, inspire me with a notion that would launch my scientific career. You've still got no memory of what that notion was? Well, how could I? It happened in the brain of a different Emmett Brown. An Emmett Brown now erased by the shifting sands of time. Luckily for us, I do know something about my own brain, having lived in it for the past 70 plus years. Once we get my younger self re-inspired by that movie, nothing will distract him from his proper... <gasps> Great Scott, will you look at that? The town square? It's just like I remember it, only dirtier. Oh, the old courthouse. Come on now, Doc, you need to... Go inside oh. and check it out. First rule of time travel, Doc, never allow your other self to catch sight of you. It could cause reality to collapse or something. You mean? Right behind you. Don't peek. Go on. I'll let you know when you're gone. And don't forget, you're Carl Sagan. The billions and billions guy? The suspected arsonist. Huh? Just go with it. On va voir l'autre... L'autre doc. Le jeune doc. Sonny! You do show up at the oddest moments. Where have you been hiding? Dans un établissement de reconditionnement mental. Oh, you know, here and there, you're a little hard to pin down yourself. I went looking for you last night, but... I believe I was off entertaining a beautiful lady. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I never really got a chance to thank you. I'm sure you would have escaped Kid on your own. Kid? Oh, sure, I'm grateful for that, but no, I'm talking about Edna. It's funny to think of now, but until that crisis, I actually thought Edna and I disliked one another. <laughs> Imagine! Oublie Edna. Yeah, well, we make a lot of mistakes when we're not seeing straight. The thing is, you shouldn't let Edna distract you from, you know, the business at hand. Finishing your project for the expo and going to see Frankenstein. Oh, pshaw. I'm far too busy for movies these days. But, uh... And as for my project, it's practically done. The rocket car? The rocket car? Boy, are you out of date. I've junked the rocket car. But... More trouble than it's worth. I'll never figure out a propulsion system that does what I want it to do. And besides, its social utility is practically non-existent. Son utilité sociale. Social utility? Since when do you care about... The mental alignment meter is a much more worthy project. The what? It was Edna's idea, and she's really been cracking the whip to get me to complete it in time for the expo. Emmett, I'm a little confused here. C'était votre premier rendez-vous. What day is it? Why, it's opening day! The opening day of the expo! Which reminds me, I'd better skedaddle back to the lab. If Edna catches me dawdling, there'll be heck to pay! Got you around, Crockett. October 12th. Doc. Problem. Si je me souviens bien, on était censé arriver le 26 juin. Et nous sommes le 12 octobre. Donc il y a un petit décalage. Plutôt inquiétant. On va choper Doc. Come to think of it, it is a bit brisk for August. Oh, we're two months late. The expo's about to start and Teenage U is already in over his head with Edna. I always did have a tendency to plunge into things. Let's plunge into the DeLorean and get to the right date. No, it's far too risky. Remember how I was late picking you up in 86? Yeah. That should have been a tip-off. Something is horribly wrong with the time circuits, and the problem appears to be getting worse. If we try to jump now, we could find ourselves stranded in a Cenozoic age. Oh, or worse, the Mesozoic. Then we're stuck? For the time being. I'll look into the problem and see what I can do. In the meantime, you can go to work on the other problem. Right. I'll go to the lab and see if I can talk teenage you out of- Impossible. If young me is already as infatuated as you say, you're not going to be able to talk him out of anything. Believe me, I remember. 
Better to focus on the more clear-headed half of the couple. Edna? Where can I find her? Where do you think? I'll drive. The DeLorean should still function adequately as a means of conveyance in the first three dimensions. Évidemment, oui, il euh, y a une petite erreur dans les circuits temporels. Forcément, ce doc alternatif n'est pas aussi bon euh, dans la création d'une machine à voyager dans le temps que l'autre doc qui s'est penché dessus pendant 30 ans. Et euh, voilà, forcément. Euh... Même si ce doc alternatif do I really have to talk to her? I mean, couldn't I just hang out until you fix the time circuits and... Oh! I'll talk to her. You better get the DeLorean out of sight before someone... Hey you! Quit blocking the drive! All car of the future contestants need to report to the North Tent! Why not? Good luck! Bon, là on est parti, on va aller parler à Edna. <coughs> Spell it B R O W N. It's not exactly an obscure name. I still don't see it on the list. I'm sorry. Oh, for the love. Let me try this one more time. This is the Hill Valley Science Expo, right? First annual. Indeed. The purpose of our fair is to showcase cutting-edge technology. That's right, and to burnish Hill Valley's reputation as a forward-thinking community. And yet, you want to exclude the maker of the most revolutionary breakthrough of all. It's not that I want to, but... Oh, dear. Mr. Crockett! You do pop up at the oddest times. What are you doing here? Un futur terrible I need to... Whatever it is, I hope you don't have to deal with Mr. Stonewall here. His sole function seems to be preventing people from accomplishing their business. Honestly, with him keeping the books, it's a wonder the Tannen gang got as far as they did. Uh... Have you seen Emmett? No. Uh, no! Oh, then you've heard all about his big breakthrough, the mental alignment meter. Isn't it exciting? And to think, he didn't even realize the import of his discovery until I pointed it out to him. I've never known anyone like him, so oblivious to his own potential. I kind of wanted to talk to you about Emmett and his potential. Funny, I didn't spot it myself at first. In fact, for the longest time, I thought I didn't even like him. <laughs> yeah. La première impression est souvent la bonne. Well, you know, those gut instincts are important. If you disliked him right off the bat, Oh, but I didn't know him then. Now I know him inside and out. Yeah, but... I appreciate your concerns, Mr. Crockett, but I can take care of myself. I know what I'm looking for in a man, and it so happens Emmett fits the bill to a T. That's Emmett Brown. Rhymes with clown, which I'm beginning to think you are. Just a simple mix-up, I'm sure. I've no doubt of that. Je vous remercie d'avoir regardé cette vidéo et à bientôt pour la suite du walkthrough de Retour vers le futur.